Forensic teams from the Michigan State Police are now investigating this shooting to see how such a freak accident could possibly have happened. 7 Action News reporter Bill Spencer is here now. Bill, I understand you've been talking to a firearms expert, and they can explain what forensics experts will be looking for? Yeah, the forensics people have a lot of work to do here. They've got to determine how somebody can get shot by a gun that is positioned inside a holster, a holster that's meant to keep your fingers off the trigger, a holster that is pointing straight down at the ground. As a firearms expert, Rick Ector of Rick's Firearm Academy trains people how to safely handle guns. I am an expert in firearm safety. I am a firearms instructor credentialed by the National Rifle Association. And he says the police forensics investigation into this weekend's shooting will, number one, focus on the holster that the gun was being carried in. There are two types of waistband holsters, outside the waistband and inside the waistband. This right here is a typical outside the waistband holster. It properly will secure a handgun uh, to be positioned uh, on a person safely. This is how it would be placed on a person's waist. Then there's the inside the waistband holster, which is typically made of a much softer material like neoprene. This holster allows an individual to place a firearm into the holster such that it securely protects the gun and protects the trigger to prevent it from being accidentally depressed. The question is, how did the victim get her finger on that trigger while the gun was supposedly protected by the holster? The second issue police will focus on is the positioning of the gun. How was the gun positioned when it was fired? Problem number two is how does a firearm pointed towards the ground shoot someone in the chest. How in the world did some did this firearm discharge and strike someone in the chest such that it would hit their heart? Forensics experts will be looking at a couple of other things. Chief among them, are there any powder burns on the victim's hand? In other words, uh, traces of gunpowder on the victim's hand. They'll be looking for that as well. I'm Bill Spencer, Channel 7 Action News. Now, a lot of people want to know that question. How could a gun go off apparently so easily? That's what they'll look at. It's just it's so, it's so incredible. Yeah. A lot of things left right. unanswered for now. Yeah. Thanks, Bill.